I don't think the long-term vision, at least my long-term vision, has been written yet. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking more short-term. I'm thinking about four years down the road. First two years, I said, I think we ought to really concentrate on, on taking back the House quickly. Uh, that's the people's house. The Senate's a different story. I think it would be a much more challenging thing, and I don't want to divert too many resources away from retaking the house. That having been said, um, I have suggested that I think there are two issues that are pretty damn critical. One is getting the population of the state of Maine, Republicans, Independents, and Democrats, to know and understand that the party, the Democratic Party, not legislators, not legislative leadership, but the party itself, has a vision for where we want to see Maine go. And we're willing to articulate that. And if that means we have to stand in opposition to something that comes out of this new administration or the Republican Party, so be it. But I think if we're thoughtful about it, we're rational about it, we can gain support from a lot of people who have, who have uh, kind of left the party one way or another, either really left the party by disenrolling or have left it simply by not participating. So I'm looking at shorter term goals. Uh, I'm an older guy. I don't know that I can see too far down the road. But um, I think once we get things going, we need to start right away. <coughs> I think that longer term vision will start to show itself. And we ought to plan for that. And that's where the state committee really can play a huge role. And I would expect the state committee to do exactly that. Stephanie. Um, my long-term vision is to better the funding mechanism for the party. We, again, back to money, we've got to make sure we have that in place or we're not going to be able to implement all these ideas. And people have great ideas, and all of you have great ideas, and all of you have been doing the work all along. So we can't do that, and we can't do it effectively if we don't have the money. So that would be one of my long-term goals. The other, another would be to um, broaden the constituency and make sure, as John has said, you know, we need to go back and, and capture some of the old friends we've had that are feeling disenfranchised and not, we haven't listened to them well, we haven't done a good job with them. And we also need to then move forward and look out to other groups, environmental groups, women's groups, I agree. We, we need, we have a lot of work to do. We have to broaden the, the voter base. Um, and the other thing is we need um, a united voice. Um, all of us need to be, um, on, uh, <coughs> I guess that's more of a short-term goal because I'm, what I'm thinking is a united voice um, against the Republican leadership. So that, uh, that's a short-term goal. Um, another short-term goal is um, making sure we have the best staff in place that we can possibly have. And as someone mentioned too, looking at do we need a political director? Do we need a communications director? Um, I'm not for spending a lot of money, but I think we've got to critically look at that and see exactly what we're trying to get done and if we have the staffing in place to do that. And I also think that um, we need to, two other quick things, make sure that the communication between the state committee and the staff and leadership of the party is open and that everybody's being heard and listened to. That's critical. We've got to be all working together on the same page. And the other quick thing was, um, um, oh, I, I forgot what the, oh, the, the county committees kind of ditto with that. Make sure they, you feel like your work's being valued. Thanks. Ben. Uh, my long-term vision for Maine and for our party is, is for a state where the Democrats set the agenda. I mean, I think it's, uh, we're all here because we're really committed to the idea that Maine people are better off under democratic policies and it's democratic policies that truly benefit all of us. So my long-term vision is for us to, to remain the, uh, get, get back to being in a position of setting the agenda and continue to set the agenda. Um, Short-term goal, I think I talked about it a little bit before, is to really strengthen our local and county committees so that they provide the true infrastructure for our candidates so that we can get uh, back to the place where we're setting the agenda um, here in Augusta and, and in Washington. Um, I think critically, um, we have to infuse the party with some new blood. We need young people, we need new people, we need the people to come back who worked here in 2008, we need to give them leadership roles uh, going forward and we need to engage them in an ongoing campaign to promote uh, democratic progressive policies even when it's not campaign time. So 
A short-term goal is to, to infuse the party with new blood, go find those people, give them leadership roles, give them something to sink their teeth into so that they can feel valued, so that they're doing something that, that they feel like they're part of a, a larger project. And uh, it's that larger project that, that is the long-term goal, and that's um, uh, a better state. And it's the Democratic Party that'll make it that way, so. Melissa. You know, I keep going back to what my grandma used to say. As Maine goes, so goes to the rest of the country. And that for a long time, yes, Democrats set the conversation, but we set the conversation in a way that bettered people. We came up with the bottle law. We came up with seat belts. We came up with a variety of things that improved people's lives. The Clean Air Act. Our way of life influenced the rest of the country. Main work ethic is talked about from one end of the coast to the other end of the coast. Pick coast. So that was my long-term vision. Go back to the point where we successfully articulate our values and our priorities in a way that influences the town, the county, the state, and the country. My short-term goals are insanely ambitious. I think we need to have a financial baseline of $1 for every registered Democrat as our basic operating budget from year to year. So there are 322,848 registered Democrats. That's our basic operating budget. We need another 70% on top of that to do our GOT operations to deal with the balance between 30% and 70% of all your funds should be directed towards direct voter contact. It's a weird election campaign function. My other short-term goal is, is what I call the insanely ambitious thing. I think we can take back our House. I think we can take back the Senate. We only need five seats in the Senate to take it back. We can flip both of those back we, with hard work and, and, and good messaging in terms of message delivery. We can bring those seats back around. I think we need to protect our congressional seats because Carl Rove said he's coming back. We've got to make that a priority. And oddly enough, I also think we can take down Olympia Snow. So that's my short term goals. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, now there were lots of hands, and I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get in trouble here. Um, Susan, you had your hand up before. Somebody back there, that guy in the, in the brown black sweater there, and Dexter had his hand up. So let's do those three, because I can remember three at a time. Susan, you're on. And Bill has asked me to be on the, 